Wings 39 and the Nets last night. James Harden had a 23-point, 11-rebound, 14-assist triple-double, and Kevin Durant chipped in with another 28 points. And after the four-point win, Kyrie said, quote, it was great competition for the top players in the world, some of the top players in the world, to go against each other on TV. So, Shannon, are you any more impressed with the Nets than you were before? Skip, we know what they are offensively, Skip. They have three of the most skilled players at their position that's ever a great been in the lead. Kyrie Irving can pat the ball. He takes the backseat to no one handling the ball. And he can finish with either hand, the kiss. The shots that he's making at the rim, Skip, he's fearless. He can, he can do things with the basketball that very few people have ever been able to do. I mean, you got to go to an and one tour, maybe the Globetrotters. And he's doing uh, this. I was going to say Globetrotters. <laughs> into yep. an actual NBA yep. game, Skip. He was dynamic. And we know Kyrie can be that because we've seen it on the biggest of stages. KD, what I say, do 11 13. How you get 28 points on 13 shots? 11 of 13? 11 of 13. And then James Harden, here he is out there doing, get another 14 assists, another triple double. He's going to probably have 11 or 12 assists playing alongside Kyrie. Skip, normally, if you shoot 57% from the floor, which is about 11 points higher yeah. than your opponent, mm -hmm. you normally wipe the floor with him. But that just goes to show you, Skip, when they're on, they're going to be awful tough to beat. But they got to be on every night because their defense is still going to be a work in progress. And that just goes to show you. Because the Clippers were getting good shots. They were just missing. They got good shots. They got great looks at the basket. Mm -hmm. But once Kyrie got it going, now you got to devote your attention to him. Okay, he kicks the ball to KD. KD one step, 15 feet, swish. Now you got to deal with James Harden. They pass it to James Harden. He dribble, 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 step back, three-pointer in your eyes. What you going to do with that, Skip? The only thing you can hope for is that they have an off night. Because if they have an off night, you can get them, Skip, because their defense is not going to be able to pull them through. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that you have to worry about, Skip. What happens on a night that I'm having an off night shooting the basketball? Can I lock you down to make sure you don't get the ball to go in the hoop? And that's what the Lakers are able to do at some point in time. They're making shots fine and good. But when their shots, we saw that against Boston. We saw that against Atlanta. Now, that's not the caliber team. Boston's a very good team. But they're not the caliber team of the, uh, the, the Clippers or the Nets. But I think defense is going to be an issue because, Skip, the Clippers don't play defense like we thought they were going to play. Now, I understand that Pat Beverly's not there, but, Skip, you can't let Kyrie and KD and James Harden dance on you like that. When well, you got Paul George and Kawhi, mm. but I keep telling you, Kawhi hasn't played defense like, like what you think he plays defense since he left San Antonio. But this was a great game. It was a back-and-forth game. It's what I thought it was going to be. And I said that what Brooklyn's hoping to do, Skip, they're going to win games. They're going to have, the games are always going to be in the 120s, somewhere mm -hmm. between 120 and 130, and they're going to have to outscore you because yeah. their defense leaves a lot to be desired. Mm -hmm. But this was – Brooklyn got firepower like I've never seen before. I've never seen three players on one team that can do – all these guys can go get you 60. Mm -hmm. There's been very few teams, Skip, that have three guys. you got to go back to the old Lakers when they had Wilt and Jerry West and Elgin Baylor. But three guys like this that can handle the ball, can get to the rim, can shoot the three, and solid free – shoot 85 – 90%. Kyrie shoot 94%. KD's 87. James Harden's 85. So you follow them in the ball game, what you gonna do? They go swish, 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 swish. Mm. Never <laughs> in the history of this league have we seen three better shot makers, mm. three better scores no. than these three together no. on one team. Mm. Never. No. Just to drive that point home, look at what happened in the fourth quarter last <laughs> night. 29 of the 36 points were scored by those three. Yes. Guess what they combined statistically to do? <laughs> Nine of 12. That'll work. Four of five from three and seven of seven from the free throw line, as you point out, because they'll just free throw you to death right. down the stretch. If you have to foul them, right. you're done. Right. I've never seen anything quite like that before. So now we go to the biggest picture. Can they defend? <laughs> They're never going to be a great defensive team, but they can be a good enough defensive team when they want to be. Right. It's not that often. So James has been there for nine games. We've seen them play up to the level of competition twice because they played Milwaukee, and they beat Milwaukee 125 to 123. So they held Milwaukee to 123, and then <laughs> last night they held the Clippers to 120. <laughs> so at least it wasn't 148 or 150. Yeah, 140 right? like they gave up yes. to Washington. Okay, but if you can hold the top tier teams to 120-ish, then you're going to have a chance because you're going to flat out score the basketball right. like crate, like no one's ever scored it. Mm -hmm. Unless, to your point, you have a three-way off night and that's what it's going to take. Right. 
Okay, so what I saw last night was my guy, Kawhi Leonard, in the fourth quarter had a hard time getting clean looks because they got physical with him and they rotated. It would be Kyrie for a possession, mm -hmm. then it'd be James, then it would be Kevin at the end. But if you see how Kevin was guarding him, Skip, he got his hand up and Ky we can't, I mean, Kawhi can't even see the basket. Okay. He's got not, I'm like, so, dude. So let's look quickly at Kawhi's three misses in the fourth quarter when he was trying to take the game over. What happened? This happened. Here's Kawhi on James. Look at James, how physical he is. J James, listen, James sh sh stopped him cold two or three yeah. times. So here he is, he goes around, that that was KD flying at him, and he missed the three. And then we're gonna have the, the look at the end that you're gonna talk about. That was kaboom. You came back off of no. Kyrie, he had to okay. go in. And, and here's the one where he says, okay, I got this, I got this, I got this, no, you don't got this, and he shot an air ball. Okay, you don't see Kawhi shoot many air balls. Right. He, he's too efficient of a scorer. And he got his 33, he just got them the hard way. Right. And I thought those three, when, when they would rotate on him, they did a pretty good job on Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. So I still say this team can play good enough defense to be a contending team, if not to win the East. Yeah, they, they because all three of them, Skip, they guarded him different. James like, okay, you want to bang? Okay, I bang with you. Yep. KD says, I'm going to play off you, knowing that you, I'm not going to let you get around me, and I'm going to be able to contest anything you do at the rim because I'm seven foot tall with a yep. six wingspan. Yep. And Kyrie's just like, just bothered him all, just, just slapping at the ball, just, just trying to do, just annoy him. He annoyed him. Okay, so I've told you before about James Harden. Last year, if you just look at the stats, he was a high-level defender as far as stealing the basketball, yeah. deflecting the basketball, or jumping on loose balls. Mm -hmm. He was top tier in all those categories. Mm -hmm. So he can defend in different ways. And plus, James is, I, I know we were talking about fat James, but listen, that guy I saw last night against Kawhi. He, he might has, need some of that. <laughs> but but he, he, he has girth to him yeah, more yeah, than you yeah, think. Yeah. And he's got natural strength. I don't even know if he lifts weights or not. Yeah. I assume he does a little bit, not like LeBron does. No. But but he he can bang with you. Yes. He's got some physicality mm -hmm. to him because he he will drive the ball and take shots and and they just seem to bounce off him. He he has to skip as much as he he has to have some way because as much as he hit the floor he's hitting the oh. floor every time he dr every uh, lays time. the ball up and skip the thing that I like about him last night he had 14 assists and only three turnovers. Three you can live you can live with that skip. And he is running away with the NBA yeah, he assist league. He's he gonna just, run away with it's over. Because he's at eleven point four and, and Russ is like nine point five. Yeah, you're not okay. catching. Because you, you I mean he's catching. passing to KD and Kyrie. And and by the way, I'm gonna credit our man Chris Broussard on this because yeah. he called it before I even thought about it. It's flipped from what I thought it would be because James is the point guard. He Kyrie be. plays more two. He, and okay. Kyrie Kyrie's always been a two masquerading okay. as a point. That is correct. Okay, so remember, the Clippers were up five with seven minutes left and looked like maybe a little better team overall than the Nets. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, those three said, no, no. And it, was like, they, well, it was like Kyrie. Kyrie got it going. And they said, okay, Kyrie. Watch, watch this flurry. <laughs> they go on a, I think it was a 13 to 13 one. 13 to 13 to nothing. It's 13 mm -hmm. to nothing. Here we go. Here's the flurry. I mean, what you going to do? He goes swoop, get to the baseline. Okay, that's on Batum. That's on Batum. You, you, you let him get the there, weak, it's over. He's the weak link is Nicholas Batum. And here's uh, Batum again, was trying to guard Kyrie. That's no good. Uh, then here we go again, and, and here's Kyrie. How do you stop it. that? Well, what are Nothing. you going to do with that? Nothing. Nothing. Don't back up. You better stop at the three-point line. Nicholas, no. no. You worried about him going by you and laying the ball no up. No chance, no chance. And then and look this, at this. this ends the run right here. And guess who it is? Nicholas Batum again. Find Nicholas Batum, is that what you're saying? Yeah, five times they found Nicholas Batum in the fourth quarter, and he got ripped five straight times. He is the weak defensive link, but they, they love him because he's he's brought the glue to the offensive end because yeah. he can handle, he, and he can and make he's threes. smart, yeah. and he can make threes. And he scored 21, so he had a good night last yeah. night on the offensive right. end, and he's helped stabilize an offense that sputtered and, and finally just choked S against Skill, the Let me ask you nuggets. something. Are you concerned? that the starters for the Nets are having to play so many minutes. James Harden played 43 minutes last night. KD's at 38. Kyrie's at 30. I mean, James Harden's number one in minutes. Kyrie's like number I know, but we, we both laughed about how James looked overweight yeah. when he first came back with Houston. It was almost like that was his defiance. Right. Like, I'm fat. Right. You're going to have to trade me because I, I'll get fatter if you I, don't. I guess they say he played, say he played his he way back into shape. But, but he was eating his way out of Houston, right? right? 
Well, it doesn't seem to matter because you want to talk about a baller? He yeah. just wants to play. He was the only one who played all 10 minutes in the fourth, I mean, uh, all 12 minutes of the yeah. fourth quarter, right? So that, so uh, because I'm looking I, I at it, know. I mean, the, the bench, and they don't, they don't have any depth, Skip. They only got 14 points from the bench. And they, didn't, they don't have a whole lot of depth coming off that bench. And, whew, Skip, that's a lot of minutes. That's a I, lot I of like minutes. TLC. I, I told you I like Bruce Brown as a defender. I still like what DeAndre can give you in spurts, but they don't play him that much. Well, they went small last they night. Went, they DeAndre small was, small, was, was uh, starting, yep. and then all of a sudden, they started Jeff Green on a baka. Yeah, and, and I'll, I've always liked Landry Shamit when he was a clipper. So I think they're okay. You know, watch what the, they've got three open slots on their yeah. roster, too, now, I guess, that uh, Norvell Pell, they 